Hey guys, welcome to My Divine Timing Tarot. Uh, my name is Anna and I'm going to read uh, for the sign of Taurus. Um, I'll start off with single Tauruses uh, for the month of January 2022. And then I'll move on to uh, Tauruses that are in a relationship. Let's see what messages will come out um, for the sign of Taurus for January 2022 singles. Um, I'm so excited, guys. I'm getting a new deck. Um, it's coming within the next two weeks or so. Uh, once I do have this deck, I'm so excited to uh, share it with you guys. Um, and I'll be doing like a bonus read for your sign. Um, out of all the videos that I put up, Taurus uh, was the second most um, viewed. So I'm going to do um, a bonus read for you guys for singles and those that are involved with someone. I hope everybody's holidays were great. I hope you guys had a happy new year. Uh, so let's go ahead. Please like and subscribe to my channel and feel free to drop a comment down below. I appreciate everybody's um, help and support uh, on my channel and all your comments. I love them. So let's go ahead. Taurus singles. What predictions do we have for Taurus singles? for the month of January 2022. Sorry if you guys hear any noise. I have four boys here. Uh, they're my boys, actually. <laughs> I have four boys. And yeah, they're not in school. I live in on um, the great Toronto area, on the province of Ontario. So yeah, they're not in school until the end, close to the end of the month. So yeah, they're a bit loud. You could only imagine four boys. <laughs> okay, J uh, January 2022. Taurus. Singles. One more shuffle. So for Taurus singles, I'm getting, um, one message I'm getting is if you, you're, I, I'm getting that your health will be improving. I'm getting that you're working a lot. You, you could be working towards some sort of goal. You could be, um, just working a lot towards something, school. I feel like you're not giving up on that right now. As of love, I don't see love coming in just yet, but I will read from the tarot deck and see what other messages come out. Um, so these are just like a few predictions for um, this month. You could be working towards buying a house, towards, um, yeah, buying a house. You're not giving up on that. Your health is improving. You're looking for some sort of advice on um through someone could be a, a lawyer a teacher um maybe your father but you're getting some sort of advice from someone and i feel like you're undecided over something and i'm getting here that you're undecided over um could be your occupation. You might not know what you truly want to do right now. You could be undecided. You might not know. Um, where you want to buy a house. I don't know why that's coming out. Like what location. But you're just working towards something in general you're really working putting in a lot of work you're not giving up let me get another card and see what comes out for some of you if it's something to do with like a lawsuit i feel like right now it's on like a pause i want to say like there's been some sort of 
maybe delay in, in a ca court case? Or maybe something didn't go to court? Let's see. What's adjudication? Why is it in reverse? Yeah, I feel like um, for some of you, uh, something didn't, something might have not went through court and you're like relieved from it. You feel so relieved from that. And if something has gone through court and there's some sort of delay, you're in um, like relief from that. You guys could right now be um, spending a lot of time like out in the community I'm getting. Good things are coming your way though. You're gonna have some good, um, some sort of good news coming in in the, in at the right time. Not just, I wouldn't say this month, but your hard work will pay off is what I wanna say. What's toil and labor? Any more messages for Taurus? Singles. Yeah, I feel like uh, a lot of you, um, you could be wondering, like, all this wor hard work, all this effort that you're putting into some sort of project or something, it's you know, you're start, you're you're try, you're um, starting to second like overthink it. You might be starting to second guess it. Like, like should am I really? You know, is this really going to pay off in the end for me? Or you could just be very concerned right now on what it is that you want to do in life in general. You're not sure, and it's like concerning you. Let's see, what do we got for Taurus singles for the month of January 2022? What's coming in for Taurus singles in the month of January 2022? What messages do we have for Taurus singles? January 2022. One more shuffle. So I feel like Taurus um, singles. I feel like you were dealing in the past with two people. Could have been dealing with a water sign or a fire sign or an air sign. I have Gemini here as well, air. Um, I feel like in the past, um, you were really confused and you didn't follow your intuition. Maybe somebody um, could have been keeping a secret from you as well. I feel like somebody in the past expressed to you, you know, like that they were attracted to you, but they didn't do anything about it. Like, I feel like it didn't really uh, go anywhere. They could have um, been very secretive or you just didn't follow your intuition. Um, you were very confused if you should um, go ahead with this person in the past. 
And I feel like now, I feel like a past person is returning. But this person, for some reason, they're not telling you how they feel. This person has a lot of love for you. I'm getting a strong water sign. They haven't told you yet. But I feel like somebody here is going to take a leap of faith. Let's see. Let's clarify. What's the fool? And if it's to do with work, let me just say that, you know, you were very confident in what you, um, in what you do, but now you're not sure if you want to still do it and you're keeping it to yourself. You're not telling people and you're not following your, your gut feeling. You're not following your in intuition on that um, decision. You're not making a decision. But I feel like in the end, if this is job related, you will take a leap of faith in, in towards something. But let me clarify. Let me go back to the singles love portion. The fool. What's the fool? Somebody wants to tell you that they really like you, but they're, they want, they want to move towards you. They were thinking about it, but they're not doing anything. They feel like, they feel very stuck. What's the page of cups in reverse? There's something about something not being revealed with this person. I don't know if it's their emotions, but they are keeping their eye on you. It's an air sign. I have, I have water. I have air. I have fire. This person's keeping an eye on you. They're just not letting you know um, how much they, how, how they truly feel about you. They want to take, take a leap of faith and move towards you, but they're like, they're in this energy of being stuck. Like they, they feel like there's nothing they can do. Give me one more card on the eight of swords. Yeah. yeah, the Ace of Wands is um, in reverse. There's an imbalance with this person. They're not ready to open up to you just yet, but they have their eye on you. There's some sort of imbalance here. That's what I have for the singles portion. And now I'm going to move towards um, involved. Tauruses that are in involved. Sorry for the noise, guys. Tauruses that are involved with someone. January 2022. January 2022. Tauruses that are involved with someone. Tauruses that are in a relationship for January 2022. Yeah, I feel like if 
you're with someone, um, you could be currently separated from them or you are separating from them. I feel like, you know, I feel like you're in a process of separating with someone or you have already. You're not with them anymore. And I feel like you guys, Tauruses, you know, you're really concerned about your future. You feel like things aren't coming together. Things are not going to come together. Hold on a second, guys. Sorry guys, my kids are really loud. They're my younger ones. They're um, four and five years old, and then the older ones, uh, thirteen and eleven. I get them all mixed up. You know, it's four boys, but sometimes they get a little carried away. Anyway, let me go back to your reading. So, Taurus, I'm getting that you're not. You're very concerned at like your future. You feel like things are not going to work out for you. You feel like there's no light at the end of the tunnel. You're losing some sort of hope. You're working a lot. Like you've put in so much work into this uh, relationship. This person, um, they wasted your time. They could have stole from you, period. They could have, you know, they could have stole from you. They could have just wasted your time, wasted your love. You feel like they just used you. You don't see light at the end of the tunnel. You're feeling so down. You're really concerned about, uh, could be your work. Again, you might not know uh, what, what you want to do anymore. You don't know what you want to do with your life anymore. You've worked so hard. You've put so much effort. You've so much time and effort into this uh union here into the into this relationship and things just you know things are like falling you feel like everything's falling apart for you that's not a good start to the january 2022 you know things they don't work out let's move on you know i've been there i've done that many times and you know these if somebody's wasting your love and your time, don't give them the time of day. Don't. You're better than that. You deserve a lot more. Let's see what's coming in for Taurus that are in a relationship for January 2022. Taurus says January 2022 that are in a relationship involved with someone January 2022 Taurus one more shuffle For Tauruses, um, so I'm doing for involved if you're with somebody. I'm getting that if something, I feel like something's just not working in your favor. You got the justice in reverse. You could be dealing with a Libra, Leo, another earth sign. I have strongly here earth or a fire sign or an air sign. I feel like things are not working in your favor right now. 
you're in this mind space, you know, you, you could have already been in this mind space of just feeling very negative. You, f you feel like there was a loss here. This person, you know, they, they were not fair with you. Whether it was something to do with going through court. There's some sort of, uh, there's an energy here of this person, um, like cutting their losses with you and not being fair. Like an imbalance here. I see, um, you know, Tauruses that are involved in with somebody right now. I feel like there's going to be very slow progress this month. Um, if, if you're working a lot right now, that's what I see is like you putting in a lot of work. You're working a lot. I feel like you will get um, some sort of... Uh, um, new opportunity it's coming in very slow though for work but it will give you um higher financial security you have the queen of pentacles here and you have the knight of pentacles but it's going to give a lot more um responsibility i feel like taurus you didn't you didn't have the chance or you didn't really speak up for yourself in a situation. I feel like, you know, you could have just cut your ties, you know, you just cut your ties and you're in this uh, negative type of mindset. And you, you don't want to fight for this. You don't. You're not speaking your mind. What's this Knight of Pentacles? I feel like, you know, there's something coming in. There's like slow progress that's going to be coming in for you. But it will give you more security in your life. The Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, it's going to give you more security. You're not going to remain um, stuck. It's You're releasing this, um, this negative energy that you've been carrying. You're taking control of your life now. You're going to get what you deserve. And this person you're dealing with, they spy on you a lot, but they don't give in any emotion into this. You could have somebody new coming in that is, has their eye on you right now, but I don't see any um, sort of progress on, on with somebody potentially new right now. This is if you're involved currently with somebody. I feel like, yeah, you're going to... Like I said, you're gonna, you're, you're releasing, you're taking control of your life. Slow and steady runs the race, you know, so you will be rewarded for everything that you put in, whether it was, whether it's in love, whether it's in work, whatever it is. But for finances, I see things, um, slowly kicking in for you you're gonna have more responsibility but more uh more um you could have a higher you might you might be getting a higher position this burden that you've been carrying with this person if this is you know like to do with your significant other or somebody that you're separating with this has been a burden for you you're tired of, you know, not having control in this situation. You're tired of this. It's a Ten of Wands. Yeah, this person could have cheated on you. 
They're spying on you. I feel like it's this past person that you're with or the person you're currently with. They spy on you a lot. And I feel like there's something to do with um, deception here. Sneaky type energy. Things are going to move forward for you though. What's the Queen of Pentacles to do with? You could have, uh, some of you might have kids with this person. And maybe you are going through court um, to get some sort of child custody. And maybe, right, maybe it didn't work out in your favor, what you wanted. This person could have been very sneaky. Things could just be like at a standstill right now if it's to do with court as well. Maybe it's at a standstill or maybe you just didn't um, feel like you got the, um, like it was fair, the outcome. But you will, things will um, improve for you. What's the Queen of Pentacles? Yeah, there was, something is, um, there you are. Something is uh, delayed right now. Like some, not, not delayed, sorry. Something has been very stagnant. Something was not moving. What's the hangman? Yeah, you're taking control, Aries energy. You're taking control. You're not letting things stay at a standstill any longer. You're taking your power, but at the same time, you're being cautious. And you're weighing out your options. Yeah, I feel like very strongly this this came to an end. The death card. And you're really wondering, like, what's going to happen next? When am I going to see results? But that's what I have for you, Tauruses. Um, I hope that this resonated with you guys. Uh, please feel free to drop a comment down below. And please subscribe to my channel. I appreciate everybody's support on here. I love seeing your comments. Um, and give me a like on this video. Okay, guys. Take care. I'll see you guys again.